right here at Cooter's Museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. If you're a big Dukes of Hazzard fan like I am, I know you're excited to get inside and see what all they have. What do you think, David? I'm looking forward to it. Just like Uncle Roscoe used to say, but you, 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 I love it, I love it. Kudos Museum has free admission. Kudos is located right here off of Wares Valley Road in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Well, we're entering into Kudos Place. First thing you see, they have a general lead as you walk in. And over here on the wall, it looks just like Kudos Garage. Here's some of that famous orange paint. Hey, Dave, I got an idea. What's that? You know your Dukes of Hazzard, right? I know right much about it. How about if I ask you some trivia? That orange paint kind of uh, reminded me of a question. Are you up for it? Sure. Okay. What color was the General Lee original? Before it was painted orange, the car was painted black. Where did they get it from? It came from a junkyard. Okay, and why did they paint it orange? Because that was the only color they had. You got it, you're good at this. It has a candy garage, Cooter Davenport. Here's Cooter's hat he always used to wear. Looking at this CB radio here, that was what they call the hazard net. Yeah, that's what Cooter used to always talk on. Another trivia question for you. What was Cooter's handle? His handle was crazy Cooter. He always used to say, break a one, break a one. Might be crazy, but I ain't dumb. This is crazy Cooter coming at you there. Come on. Very good, David. All right, how about Bo and Luke? What was their handle? They were called law sheep. All right, how about Uncle Jesse? He was shepherd. All right, Daisy? She was Bo Peep. Oh, you got them all. Very good. As you walk around the store, you see they have a little bit of everything. They have t-shirts. They have some magnets. Up here is a vest that Kudo used to wear in one episode. You ready for another trivia question? Let's try one. All right, let me think. What would be a good one? Okay, in the first episode of the Dukes, what was Cooter driving? Cooter was driving actually a, a police car, and the Duke boys was actually chasing him. That's exactly right. In the very first episode, that's exactly what happened. I got another question for you. All right, let's hear it. You ready? Uh-huh. All right. Who were the two actors that also appeared on the Andy Griffin Show? That would have been James Best, who was Roscoe, and Denver Powell, who was Uncle Jesse. Oh, it's hard to fool you, that's for sure. They have all kind of collectibles on display here for your enjoyment. David, if you'll notice, you see this yellow car here? Let me come back and see what you're talking okay. about. Yes, I see the yellow one. All right, you know whose car that is, don't you? That was Daisy's car. But if you remember, she ended up driving a Jeep in some of the later episodes. That's what correct. happened to that car? Well, Bo and Luke, they crashed it. That's exactly right. And then she ended up getting that uh, white Jeep CJ7. 
that had Dixie written on it. And I believe, if I'm correct, it was a 1980 model. I believe you are correct. All right, speaking of car, what year cars are, how about the General Lee? What type of car and what year car was the General Lee? The General Lee was a 1969 Charger. Okay, all right. How about Boss Hogg's car? What was he chauffeured around in? He was chauffeured around in a 1970 Cadillac DeVille. Wrecked, it was a soft top. And what color? It was white. Of course. Boss always wore white. Yes, he did. And old Roscoe used to call him his little fat buddy. They have a little selection of some honey, moonshine jelly, barbecue sauces, some preserves. Got some blankets, some throws, some pillows. They have a little bit of everything in Kudas. Look at all those pictures. Yeah, I see them. Definitely brings back some memories. It sure does. David, I got a couple other questions for you. Okay. Who always showed their hands but never their face on every single Dukes of Hazard episode? That was Waylon Jennings, who wrote the song for the theme song for the Dukes of Hazard. It went, just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. Beats all you, you ever saw, saw been in trouble, trouble with the law since the day they were born. Yeehaw! David, that was pretty good. You did a real good job singing the theme song by Waylon Jennings. Well, thank you. Hey, can you do the horn sound that the general made? I don't know. That'd be a tough one, but I, I'll give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> now, David, I think you cheated. What in the world do you have there? Well, let me let you in on a little secret. He came from this with a little help from this. Let me let you see what it sounds like. How cool is that? Come on. I love that keychain. I need that. I gotta have that for my car. That's awesome. Speaking of Waylon Jennings, here he is. One of his album covers. And you see John Snyder. He was also a singer. And so was Tom Wolpat. Both of them were also singers and put some music out. Now here's something cool on the bottom. They have these collector dolls. They've got one of Roscoe. Oh man, that is awesome. There's Daisy. They have Luke. Bo. And last but not least, Boss Hall. How much are those dolls? You see a price on them, David? I don't think it's for sale. I think it's just... It's just for display. Yes. Okay. Man, that's awesome. I'd love to have those. Well, I see they got Loretta Lynn here. Do you remember when she was on one of the episodes? I sure do. She was actually, she was kidnapped. Mm hmm And then after they found her, she performed at the Boys Nest. Speaking of performing at the Boys Nest, they used to have a lot of stars come through Hazard. Can you name at least three other stars that were caught in the speed trap? Let's see. I remember Mel Tillis, the Oak Ridge Boys, and Mickey Gilly, I believe, was there. I believe you're right.
They got all kind of cool caps. I do believe Waylon Jennings actually performed on one of the episodes in the last season. Other than just doing the theme song. These caps are nice quality caps. They are. $23.99, not a bad price at all on those. Here's some more photographs. You can see some of the cars where they demolished in the filming. And they've got all kind of t-shirts. Man, they are beautiful. I love the colors they chose. I like this one right here. It says, Hazard County Sheriff Department. Cuff them and stuff them. That was a famous line Roscoe used to use all the time. This one right here. Someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will. Speaking of law, David, did uh, this show have any influence in you of wanting to be a police officer? It had a little bit. I always wanted to be like old Roscoe. Get to chase them. I see you're getting that picture of the whole cast there. Uh huh. I notice you've got Cletus there. What was the other deputy that was in love with Daisy? Oh, that was old Enos. Roscoe always used to call him the dipstick. And you know, we met him when Coodle was in Gatlinburg. He was there signing autographs. Yeah, I remember that. He was just a super nice guy. He really was a nice guy. I really enjoyed meeting him. Just down to earth and enjoy talking to him. They also have these machines up front and as you walk in where you can get a penny and press it and get you a decal on it. And they have another one, but at the time it's, it's out of order, so. Look at the election signs up there. You see those? I sure do. I remember that one about Sheriff Roscoe P. Cole train. He was posting them on the first episode. That's a cool looking hood somebody's airbrushed. Oh, that is a hood. I didn't realize it. Wow. And it's even got some autographs on it. Let's take a look inside the General Lee. They also have a selection of Dukes of Hazard DVDs.
They have some cool cups here. I like the bumper sticker that says, I love Cooter. Cooter was definitely a likable character. These signs are so cool looking. They will look cool like if you had a game room or, or something like to put a them in. garage outside. Mm -hmm. Especially where it says Cooter's Garage. That would be cool. Or just a man cave. And here Carly is. She's with the General Lee. Wow, that was a lot of fun. It brought back a lot of memories of watching the Dukes of Hazard on Friday nights, 8 o'clock, CBS. Do you remember that, David? I sure do. Every Friday night I was tuned in. That is when TV was really good. Your whole family could sit down and watch it. You didn't have to worry about being embarrassed or anything of what might come on TV. They just don't make TV shows like that anymore. You can say that again. They just don't make TV shows like that anymore. Well. We're going to close out for the, from here. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you're in Pigeon Forge, please go by and check out Cooter's Place. It's well worth going to. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's free. And yes, it's free. And most of the time, you can actually sit inside the General Lee inside. But right now, with this coronavirus going on, they've got some limitations on what you can do, what you can't do. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a, a thumbs up. Also, if you hadn't subscribed to our channel, please go and subscribe right now. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can keep up with the latest and greatest adventures of Virginia Fun Seeker. Until next time, we thank you for watching and God bless.